Come with me back to 1972. <laughs> And welcome once again to the telly years. Yes, 1972. In January 1972, the first woman QC took her place as a judge at the Old Bailey. She was meant to start the preceding month, but she couldn't make up her mind which week to wear. <laughs> April the 24th, 1972, and Britain opened the first Spaghetti Junction. On April the 25th, it was closed, and the first Contraflow system was opened. <laughs> also in 1972, a very well-known furniture group tried to get round the Sunday trading laws by selling vegetables and giving away furniture. You could get a very nice carrot for 500 quid. <laughs> and these two people were having a very interesting time in 1972. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Peters and Noddy Holder. <laughs> Welcome to you both. Mary, Mary, there we saw you getting the BBC TV Sports Personality of the Year and um, Munich Gold. Who, who, who were the two people that were your biggest competitors at the Olympics? Heidi Rosendahl, who was the West German, and Berglinda Pollock, who was the East German. Right. But we won the war. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and thank goodness the British don't go in for silly names. Not he. <laughs> <laughs> what a time you were having there. Four chart hits, two of which were number ones. Yes. Do you remember the 70s? Vaguely. <laughs> I think they're best forgotten, don't you? <laughs> you should remember. <laughs> right, I do. I remember far too much, and we've got some very funny imagery. How much will they remember about the TV of 1972 will be revealed in a moment. But let's meet the opposition. One for you and one for me. The one and one and one. Pardon me. Comes to three. Looking sweet and all the while. Hit behind the smile was Zachary. I'm a go between. I'm as willing to learn as I am to teach. And anything that I teach would be purely local knowledge and not national knowledge. I certainly have not come here with the intention of teaching anybody anything other than the problems of Rochdale. We welcome Lindsay DePaul and Sir Cyril Smith. <laughs> Sir Cyril. So, Cyril, that was the day that you took your seats in the House of Commons. Uh, Did I you? Noticed she said seats. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, and that then... clip shows that they knew now that they knew as much then as they all know now, which is now. I was I was going to ask you whether you managed to teach the people of Rochdale anything. Oh, uh, the people of Rochdale know it. They don't need teaching. It's them up there. It's you know. <laughs> 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 and Lindsay. Um, we found a book, the Mirabelle Sunshine Pop Book. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is lovely in here. Oh, yeah, we 
think he's got there. In here, there's a quote that we have to bring up. Oh, no. says, she rarely makes her own clothes. She says, because they always turn out wrong, so I have to make them into a tea cosy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I did a bit of research to look at <laughs> 1970s tea cosies and things. I mean, how could you make clothes out of anything like that? Is that really what you used to get up to? Um, no, I couldn't make anything but an egg cosy, actually. I'm not good enough to make a tea cosy. I'm not good at making anything like that at all. There's also a very worrying thing. This article starts by saying she's the type of girl who makes you feel overweight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know the feeling. <laughs> Do not adjust your sets. <laughs> and now, we go into the TV time tunnel. Yes, my guests were all, all very busy in 1972. Noddy probably doesn't remember anything about the whole decade. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Deadly times. But you're going to have to look at this Go and try it. and come up with an answer. My kind of music. <laughs> yes, unbelievable. Did you uh, did you lend him the sideburns? Uh, probably in those days. Yeah, probably. Did you realise that your look in 1972 was um, actually very popular with all the garden centres in the UK? <laughs> oh, oh. No, it was, and there was a whole, a whole strain of miniature furs uh, that were developed in honour of Noddy. So uh, his stage name is Engelbert Humperdinck. Yes. Uh, where do we get these dark names uh, yes. from, Noddy? And uh, what was his real name? He's real name was Jerry Dorsey. It was. Well done. Very good. <laughs> and Mary, this is your trip, but uh, Noddy would admit this is one of his favourite soul singers. Notice a bit where the cameraman was so traumatised by, <laughs> by being so close to him that as he ducked down he missed the shot. Look at him. <laughs> Look at no. him. Look, yeah. It took 40 years for Elvis to get like that. Yes. Mary, we felt that it was nearer to sport than music. So can you name him? It's little Jimmy Osmond. Yeah. yeah. Can you remember how many singing Osmonds there were? Seven. Name them. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good enough. And in 1972, the Black and Decker workmate was first introduced. And here's a man who managed to get a really good tune out of it. The Cavalier did right away. And woe is me and Lapper Day. Now caught fever from the hay. And a tissue fun, a tissue lawn. With a clip-clop on, a clip-clop lawn. With a clip-clop on the floor, and a clip-clop on the floor. Look, he's playing a workmate. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cyril, the man was famous for portraying a king on television. Can you name him? Henry VIII. He did. And then he played Charles on that. Yeah? Who was he? Either Keith Michelle or Keith Mitchell, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't just catch what she was telling me. 
<laughs> so, in, in view of your Michelle. tremendous knowledge, I'll give you extra points if you can name the other two people in the clip. But I must Somebody insist you're on James. James. Polly James. Polly James. <laughs> Someone called James. Polly and James. No, no, Polly James, yes. And Do you know the other one, Lindsay? I can't remember. No, I, I, know, I know her really well and I can't think her name. Dillis Watley. Yes. Yes, it was that Dillis That was her, ah, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You were right. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how, why he did so well in politics, can't yeah. you? He's got... <laughs> You're right. Lindsay, for you, a gentleman who got his entire act, it just came to him when he was stuffing the turkey. <laughs> Such a friendly emu. Ah. Beautiful animal, aren't you? If you like, you can, you can make friends with him. Do you want How do I do that? Yeah. Just stroke him. You know. I like animals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just stroke him. I just stroke him. Ah. You see, I told you it was all right, didn't I? Yeah, I couldn't understand why he didn't like me. No, he does not. Ah. Stop, look. He likes me. He likes you. <laughs> that was Emu's first TV performance. And um, can you imagine the terror of being in a studio with that creature? So what I would like to know... <laughs> is, do you think... Do you want to see anything after three years of Blobby? I'm frightened by this. <laughs> <laughs> Rod Hull. Rod Hull and Emu, but who was the other fella? Well, the, just first of all, I must say that I appeared on German television with the bird, and he doesn't always grab you by the neck, but to carry on. <laughs> um, <laughs> the man who must have been feeling a little dicky after then? Yes. Dicky Henderson? Yes, yes. the late, great Dicky Henderson. Yes, yes. Very good, very good indeed. <laughs> and we're going to stick... We're going to stick with television, but not the mainstream programmes. We're now going to go with the commercials. Take a break. Noddy and Mary. Do you find brushing clothes tiresome? Well, here's your answer. K-Tail's brush o -matic with its new patented nylon head removes every particle of dust and fluff instantly. Always brush in direction of arrow. Rotating the head enables you to brush both ways. Removes knots from sweaters in only seconds. Cleans up hostry in the home and car quickly. Ideal for all suedes, woolens, hats and all other clothes. A must for your home, office or travelling. brush o -matic removes all types of pet hair easily. Removes dust, fluff, ash, hair, dandruff. brush o -matic works when other brushes give up. To clean, simply brush backwards. Lasts for years and sells for the incredibly low price of. <laughs> <laughs> Ktel, an old Japanese word meaning don't buy. I was that man. I bet you've got one of those. I've got you? one. I've got one. Yep, everyone. <laughs> everyone's got one. Okay, so name the cat. No. Um, how much would you? Uh... Spend out. There must have been lots of sad people who spend all their time doing that and then doing it the other way. And so we go, oh, heck, I've just done it. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, how much was it, do you think? Twelve and six. <laughs> Can't make it work. Twelve and sixpence. What's that in new money? New money. No, right, I want, I want the price then. It's expensive, but then that wouldn't have been Price nice. then, please. I'd say, I'd say 35p. 35? You can't see that. You can't have had P then. You could, 72. Oh, all right then. 71 decimalisation. Was it? He knows oh. a lot, doesn't he? <laughs> How much was the cost of a record then in 1972?